Hans Niemann and Arjun Aragaisi, two of the most talented young players in the world, both 19 years of age, both just over 2,700. They played in a tournament recently. They weren't paired, but then they got to play each other in a blitz game at the Al Ain Spring Chess Festival. I'd like to go over that game. Very interesting. It's a Dragon Sicilian, one of the most entertaining openings in chess. Neiman has white, Aragaisi has black. Let's jump right in. E4, C5, Knight F3, D6, D4, CD4, Knight D4. The traditional open Sicilian starting position. Black can play the Knight Orf, the Dragon, etc. Knight F6, Knight C3, and then G6. Uh, a nice surprise. You rarely see the Dragon played in a 2700 versus 2700 game, and usually it is in Blitz when you do see it, uh, but uh, it's always exciting to see a Dragon played at the high, highest levels. Um, here, Hans Niemann with white makes a, a rare move. Actually, it's the 13th most common move in this position in my database. So he plays the move knight to b3. Obviously, the most common move here is bishop to e3, the beginning of the dragon variation. Uh, knight to b3, the idea essentially is to keep black from playing d5. That really wasn't a threat just yet, but black's first goal in a dragon is always to play d5. The problem is this Yugoslav formation, and Ishigiri, for example, said this is the only threat to the dragon, that if the Yugoslav attack didn't exist, every top grandmaster would play the dragon every single game. It's just such a good opening against everything else. Well, let's see if uh, Aragaisi can prove that to be the case. Prove that to be the case, yeah. Bishop g7, bishop to e2, castles, castles, knight to c6, and bishop to e3. And we have transposed into a more orthodox uh, classical bishop e2 line against the dragon. Now bishop to e6. The idea here is that, again, black wants to play d6, d5, if at all possible. That's the first goal of any dragon player, to play d6, d5. f4 is played. This prevents d5, because if black plays d5 here, white can play f5, and the complications favor white after this move. So instead, Arjun plays a5. He wants to irritate this knight on b3, bother it. His, his bishop is well placed to attack the queen side, so by threatening a4, a3, he can get a lot of progress on the queen side. So Neiman stops that with a4, so he can't advance. But now, this b4 uh, square will be weak. Uh, Aragaisi plays rook to c8, screaming down the c file, indirectly aiming at the c2 pawn. Queen to d2, and Knight to b4. Black has a very comfortable position here. Obviously, he has some threats against the c2 pawn with the knight and the rook if the c3 knight moves. He's got pressure against e4 with the knight at f6. And he also has a potential threat of playing a rook sacrifice. Rook takes c3 followed by knight takes e4. That's a very common theme in the dragon to exchange the rook for the knight at c3 and uh, cause all kinds of problems in white's position. Uh, here, the best move for white is definitely bishop to f3, making sure that e4 pawn is protected. But Hans Niemann plays rook f to e1, and this turns out to be a blunder and a fairly serious one. Can you see how black takes advantage of this move? Well, there are actually two ways. He could play rook takes c3, that exchange sack we were just talking about. After pawn takes rook, knight takes e4, queen c1, bishop c3. Black is really in, in great shape with the bishop hitting both rooks. Um, but instead, uh, Aragaisi plays the cleaner option. Knight takes e4. Now, it looks like he might just be getting a couple of pawns for the piece, but he's getting a lot more than that. Knight takes e4. Rook takes c2. Not only does that hit the queen, but it removes the defense of the knight at b3, and Hans Niemann is under a lot of pressure right now. Queen goes to d1, and bishop takes b3. And uh, there's some threats against the queen, and black is up two pawns. And uh, Neiman is going to have to find a way to fight back down two pawns worth of material. He plays rook to a3 to hit the bishop at b3. That bishop comes back to d5, attacking the knight on e4. That knight moves to c3 and hits the bishop. But then the bishop moves to c6, and black has consolidated his two pawns. This bishop is very comfortable here, the knight is very comfortable at b4, and we still have the classic dragon bishop screaming down the diagonal. Uh, there is some pressure on this rook on c2, however, so uh, black does have to be careful about that. Hans Niemann plays rook to b3. 
Perhaps the idea is to play rook takes knight followed by queen takes c2, but actually the material would just stay even after that. Uh, so that's really not much of a threat. Queen to d7, and now uh, black is threatening to take on a4 with the queen and bishop aiming at that vulnerable pawn. Bishop to f3 to trade off the bishops. Black does so, queen f3. And now another tactical blow from Arjun Aragaisi. Can you see this one? Rook takes b2. A really strong move. Winning a clean pawn after the exchanges are completed. Rook takes b2, and now bishop to c3. That's the key reason why that move works. He gets the knight back, and then he'll get his rook back, because there's a double attack on the rook on b2 and the rook on e1. Rook e to e2, he takes the rook. And here we can see that uh, black is up three pawns, and after the next move, he's up four pawns. Threatening queen to a1 check and picking up the rook on b2, Hans Niemann has to move that rook back to b1. Now, queen to c6. Obviously, black would love to trade queens here <laughs> and just, you know, win, win in the, the end game up the material. But the queen goes to f2, queen to c2. Aragaisi continues to insist on a queen trade. Hans Niemann plays queen to e1, avoiding it. Queen to e4. And in this position, Hans Niemann finally resigned. The threat of knight to d5, hitting that bishop, would just take all of the pieces off of the board, basically, after a move like, say, rook to b3. Knight to d5, and uh, and that would be it. So an entertaining blitz game between two of the best players in the world, 19-year-old Hans Niemann and Arjun Aragaisi. Hope you enjoyed it. See you again soon at Chess Dog. Goodbye.